Okay, we're up on Fire Lake Road and we came across this gorgeous section of bedrock. And right up here where Andy's checking, they have cut a groove right out of it all the way up. So there was some kind of metal that they wanted and they took it. And it could have been for a sample, it could have been worth something, you know. But he's not getting any hits on the detector. <coughs> okay, check some of these veins running north-south. Like, do you see the color? Right, you can see the actual vein right there. So he's going to detect them and see if he finds anything. There's a nice crevice running north-south right here. And if you actually clean that out, you might find something from way back. It depends how... This was maybe um, water blasted. So you might not find anything in there because it would have been cleaned out. But if it wasn't, if this was just naturally washed and they just gave it a quick clean, there could still be something in those crevices. Here's a chunk of iron. Andy. Come hit this chunk of iron and see if it goes off. Right there. Just go, go easy. No, no, no. Right there in the rock. Oh, I almost dropped the cell phone. That was a good catch. That's about the first thing that's gone easy for me today. Everything else was rough. Nothing huh. Nothing. It looks dense enough, eh? I mean, we've had, we've had iron rocks go off that were pretty dense and the right color. Let's take a looky. See there definitely is something in here. You can see the iron in this one. Right here. And here. Now that could be from scraping a um, bucket across it of a machine though. But there appears to be iron up through here and all through that as well. So, hard to know for certain. But yeah, there's discolorations everywhere, but what caused it, whether it's from the rock? I would say yes, because, well, he got a hit over there somewhere. Right here, you can see the iron in this stuff. Right. I've got crevicing tools, so we could always take a sample. What did you get a hit on? Maybe it's not them, maybe it's under them or around them. Might be, I don't know if it's in the wall. Next marks the spot. There's another rat over here, I'm like, yeah. Oh, yeah. The wooden one. Wooden one, I mean. Alright, well. It's like right between these two is where it would be. But yeah. It's not down. It's the little, like it's. I don't know. So Maybe. Maybe. Uh, well, it's nice to see bedrock, but there's no way to know if there's. Ah, uh, look at this. Okay, they cut a sample out of here. Now let's see why. Oh, right there. something in the I'm put on the glasses and have a better look okay so we definitely have iron here and there's another metal right here Andy that one might trigger you no way eh? I can't believe it I can see it with my eyes it's possible that it's just so thick oh my goodness it's like powdered And it smells like burnt. It could be their saw just burned whatever metal was there, because, yeah, whatever was in there burned real good in the heat of the saw. And down here, they didn't take the whole thing. They left this chunk. Oh, jeez, I suck with a camera, don't I? can't 
get that out without the hammers. There's a flake. Oh, looky there. There's what they were after. Right. Come here, look at this, bud. Right there. That is either gold or copper pyrite. Let's cover it up. It's pyrite. Right there. You see that shiny stuff? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's copper pyrite. So you, you got um, calco pyrite, copper pyrite, whatever. Yeah, it's got copper. Too. I'm going to see if I can get to stabilize this thing. All right. I am not doing well with this camera today. My goodness. All right, all right, all right. Where's my finger? There's why. Okay. Now watch what happens when I shade it. Maybe. Can you tell? the sunlight. Oh, it's taking forever. My battery's dying. That sucks. I had not thought about charging the battery. Alrighty, we're gonna have some fun.